Hey everybody, Dan Rubino here with Windows Phone Central and check it out, we got the Samsung T-Vest Neo on AT&T. This device came out over the weekends, basically on Friday. It goes for $99 on contract and $430 off. It is a pretty solid Windows Phone, came out earlier this year on Sprint. It's a follow-up to the original T-Vest, which you can see here with the silver back. The original T-Vest is slightly thinner and has a more squarish design to it, speaker at the bottom versus on top here for the Neo. And, um, you can see differences here too. Uh, you can see the buttons here on the TVS, the original one. On the Neo though, it's kind of interesting. They're basically uh, hidden until you turn on the device. And let me show that there. And now you can see those buttons. And that's kind of a neat feature. I also like the fact that you can't see it here, but you have your camera and your sensors. But right over here is actually a hidden LED light. And that works when I'm gonna plug in here a little charger. Let's see if I can. If I get the direction right, there we go. And now you can see the screen popped on, but I'm gonna turn it off and there goes the LED light. Now, how cool is that actually? It's a really neat effect. The LED light only pops on when the screen is off. As soon as I turn it on, it turns off, which is sort of a nice thing. It's not as nice as the glance screen on Nokia's, but that's still a pretty cool feature. Now you're probably wondering what else does that LED do and actually nothing. Uh, so missed calls or voicemails, it doesn't blink or do anything else. It's strictly for charging. Still, nice little feature. What else do we got here? It's a 1.4 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon CPU, which is sort of interesting. Most devices are clocked at 1.5 gigahertz, so presumably you'll get slightly better battery life with this. Uh, you also have a 4.7 inch TFT display. That is not a Super AMOLED, but TFT instead. And to be honest, I'm actually really impressed with the display here. Samsung always nails those, and on this device is no different. The colors are nice. It's not too saturated compared to the Super AMOLEDs, which some people, including myself, find a little um, almost too saturated, but this display here is really nice, feels smooth. Um, scrolling is a little bit slower than some other devices, but it's not too bad. You do have a, a really nice trim here on the device. You can see it's this sort of chrome trim, and the device looks very elegant. I love the buttons on here, uh, especially the physical button, which you can use to turn on a device, which is a really good effect. Let's take a tour here, micro USB on the bottom. There's your headphone jack on top. Microphone, of course, is there. Eight megapixel rear camera, speaker, LED flash. You have your front facing camera there. Volume, uh, sorry, power button over here, camera button on the bottom. Volume controls are actually on the left-hand side, which is a little bit unusual for well, most Windows phones, but that's the way Samsung does it. And of course, the secret here to this device is that you can pop off the back cover and you have a 2000 milliamp replaceable battery. There goes your micro SIM and there's your micro SD. And that's sort of the big secret here. This device comes with 16 gigs of internal storage. We can throw in a 64 bit card, uh, 64 gig card, sorry, and get some more memory. Now you can't use that memory for apps, but you can use it for media and files, videos, all that kind of stuff. And so overall, that is kind of nice. Uh, the device itself is good. Um, I've had some reception issues in the sense that the Lumias tend to get better reception. I get LTE on those devices where in the exact same spot, this will just do the uh, 4G, you know, HSPA plus. Also GPS has been a little wonky on this. I was actually unable to use this for navigation the other day because the GPS was just all over the place. It's sort of hit and miss. I, it seems to be an issue with the uh, AGPS and the towers, but I'm not really too sure. It's the first time I've ever experienced that though on a Windows phone, and it was a little bit frustrating. Audio quality is very good on the device for making phone calls. I really like the fit and feel of this device. It's thin, it's light, feels good in the hands. It's a very elegant phone. And so if, um, you know, except for the GPS issues and the not as good reception, Overall, it's a pretty solid device. I think if you're an enterprise or business or looking for something a little bit more classy, uh, this, you can't go wrong with it. It's 4.7 inch display is a really good size and you get that expandable storage. So there you go. Head to Windows Phone Central for more information. And there you go. Take care, everybody.